Hey guys, this video is a showcase of all 14 unlocks of the modded character Andromeda. If the mod is new to you, make sure to watch my showcase video about the character in the video description first. Beetlejuice is one of two runes unlocked by beating Boss Rush. Using it will trigger a single room Mama Mega explosion. Just like usual, the explosion will deal 200 damage to all enemies in the room and also destroy all obstacles and open all doors in the room, even the hush door. The other rune, Alpha Centauri, will absorb all pickups and items in the room. Each pickup destroyed this way has a 50% chance to create one wisp for you in exchange. It does not matter what kind of pickup or trinket is absorbed, they all grant the same chance for a wisp. But absorbing an item pedestal will guarantee the creation of 5 wisps at once, and those will be special wisps depending on the current type of special room. Alpha Centauri. Extinction Event is a 4 charge active item that causes small meteors to rain down on random spots for the duration of the current room when used. The meteors explode on impact, destroy obstacles on hit and have a chance to burn enemies. The damage of each meteor varies but can go up to 200% of your tier damage. The meteors will also grow in size and can become really powerful with huge damage ups like Polyphemus or Ithacac. The Meteorite Trinket also uses the same Meteor mechanic, but instead of a constant rain, it grants a chance to spawn one Meteor whenever you shoot. The tier does not have to hit an enemy, just shooting in a random direction will cause the Meteors to spawn. Increasing your fire rate will obviously also increase the number of Meteors spawning, but keep in mind that something like Soy Milk will also lower the damage of them. Next up is the Crying Pebble Trinket. Holding it will grant a small tears up for each astrology themed item in your inventory that gets a bit stronger for each one of them. The items that count are all the zodiac and planetarium items as well as some items introduced in the mod itself. This makes the trinket really strong for the Andromeda character. Defeating Blue Baby as Andromeda will unlock their own starting item Gravity Shift for all characters that allows you to stop all shots on the screen in mid-air and make them fall down. However, the item does not have all the other unique effects that it has when playing as Andromeda. Again, check out my video about the character if you don't know about them yet. The Stardust Trinket simply grants a small chance to spawn a Wisp for you whenever you kill an enemy. The Wisps spawn directly at the spot where the enemy died, sometimes causing it to fly into other enemies and deal damage to them or die themselves. The Trinket also has a flavorful hidden ability. You can drop it inside of a shop to turn it into a nickel, if you would rather have a bit of money instead. The Zodiac item Ophiuchus grants a chance to replace a shot tier with a barrage of 5 tiers that each deal 33% of your tier damage each. All 5 tiers of a barrage will copy the properties and path of the original tier, including all of the tier effects it had. The item does sadly not work with any of the usual tier replacement effects. You need to fire something considered as a tier for it to work. But that was not all, the item also grants a 10% chance to spawn a half soul heart whenever you kill an enemy with a tier of the barrage. The celestial crown will spawn 4 star orbitals around you. Shooting a tier through one of them will give special boosts to that tier depending on the color of the star. The colors of the 4 stars randomly change in each room and each of them grants 3 effects at once to your tier. Here is a list of all 7 colors and what they provide.
The harmonic convergence causes four additional tiers to spawn far away and fly towards you whenever you shoot a tier yourself. Each tier deals 25% of your tier damage. The tiers will alternate between the same cardinal and diagonal spawn directions toward the character. The small tiers will also inherit all tier effects that you have, which can lead to really powerful synergies very fast. But whatever you do, I would highly recommend not to pick up Ipecac with this item, for obvious reasons. Juno is one of the two planetarium items unlocked by Andromeda. It grants one soul heart, as well as a chance to shoot charming tears from now on. But that was not all, the item also grants a chance to revive any killed enemy as a special charmed version of itself with a pink tint that stays between rooms. Your charmed friends can obviously also kill and revive more enemies. This can lead to huge chain reactions and will build a big army really fast. The other planetarium item, Palace, is really simple but also very strong. It grants a small flat damage up every single time you explore a new room. The boost is plus 0.20 for regular rooms, plus 0.60 for planetariums, libraries and secret rooms and plus 0.40 for all other types of special rooms. This might seem really insane at first glance, but the item obviously has a restriction. You will lose 90% of the damage boosts when entering a new floor. The item still provides a huge amount of extra damage, especially when found early, and the temporary boost will also be really useful against the floor bosses. It is also worth to note that it also grants immunity to the Curse of the Lost, which helps with the exploration part of the item. The last item unlock of the Andromeda character is Baby Pluto, a familiar that is both defensive and offensive at the same time. It will orbit around you and shoot tears in the style of the Tiny Planet item. Its shots are rather weak and deal only one damage but at a very high fire rate. Baby Pluto will also protect you from incoming shots, like the cube of meat, but it does not deal any contact damage. The familiar actually also has a secret interaction with one of the trinkets of the mod. Picking up the Moonstone will evolve Baby Pluto into Plutonium. Plutonium now deals 1.5 damage per tier and comes with a second familiar that shoots small rock tiers that have a chance to destroy obstacles and doors. Getting the golden version of the trinket will make the evolution even stronger and create Mega Plutonium, who deals 2 damage and shoots rock tiers all the time. This version of the familiar also comes with a third orbital that blocks tiers and has a chance to spawn random runes or soul stones whenever it gets hit. The chance for them to spawn is actually really high, but let's be honest. You deserve to break the game if you manage to find a specific golden trinket in combination with a specific item. And last but not least, getting all completion marks as regular Andromeda will unlock the spout transformation for all characters. It needs 3 zodiac and or planetarium items. Spout grants flight and each of your shot tiers now has a chance to spawn small spout projectiles that deal 25% of your damage but have homing in all of your tier effects. This was all the unlocks for regular Andromeda, but I will also make a video showcasing the unlocks of Tainted Andromeda soon. Check the video description, I will link the video there as soon as it is ready. He's the number one Isaac! God's favorite son His flowing rose Reach down from